Hey, what's up? How are you doing? This is Creatures. You found me playing The Witcher 3. Played a long time ago. And what I decided to do this time was play through the story instead of like get sidetracked. I'm going to discipline myself as hard as I possibly can to just play through the storyline. And whenever dialogue comes up, if it's yellow, I'm just going to pick the first one. Because then it'll tell more of the story. I mean, I know some of it, but I don't know all of it. And it's great to learn more about this. Is this would this be a universe? I guess. Um, this world, I guess, would be the best way of saying it for The Witcher Three, and uh, Yennefer and um, her journeys are really intriguing. Going into more detail about that, which I don't remember in Nelfgaard, you know, <laughs> in Gerald and all that other fun stuff, but. Yeah, so basically I'm setting some rules, and they're going to be, if it's yellow dialogue, I'm just going to click the one. If it's white dialogue, like if I'm at a shop and I need to find out information, I'll click on all of them, and I'll start at the top and work my way down. And we'll just kind of go from there, and we're going to avoid side quests as much as possible. And I'm not going to really go out and look for herbs and different things um, and get sidetracked. I'm, like I said, let's just go right through the storyline. So let's go uh, ask the Nelf guard about Yenneford. We'll continue here. There's a door. Oh, they're outside. Okay. <coughs> Done drinking. Ooh, it's our buddies from inside. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. See, so see how this is yellow? We can do the magic, but we're just going to do this one. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind. Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Yeah, we beat him up. It was nice meeting you. It says horse. Okay, there's Roach. I was going to say, whoops, we don't want that. Uh, I was going to say, does Roach say Roach? Sure does. Your game state will be automatically saved when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty beasts, bandits, and countless other dangers. Slow now. Whoa. All right. Yeah, see, like everything around the village, I should go get, right? I don't want to. I don't want to get sidetracked. We're just going to play through the story. Until it asks me to get something. But how are you doing today? You having a good day? Hopefully you are. I'm having a great day because I'm playing video games. I love me some video games. I went the wrong way. So interesting what's coming back to me. Place of power. Should draw from it. All right. The number to the left of an enemy's health bar shows its level. If it's red or marked with a skull, it means the enemy is much stronger than you. In such cases, it's better to turn back, arm yourself, gain a few levels before engaging in an enemy. All right. You're pissing me off. If a 
fight proves too difficult, you can flee or live to fight another day. Hold A to run during combat. Holy crap, he's strong. I guess we'll come back and fight him? We're going to fight you, and we're going to kill you, since you were chasing me. Okay, adrenaline points. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain adrenaline, adrenaline, certain abilities. Oh my goodness. You can acquire, allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline. All right, we kick butt heads. All right, I guess we can't do anything in there. It's B. B is jump. Slow now. Get up. Faster. Yeah. See, we can get sidetracked with all that, but nope, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do the story. I don't I don't even think we need to fight those guys. Just play through and do the storyline. Once we I need to learn all the different things. Did you mean to say stop? I think I ran into him. This is true. Northern women pay military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Oh, I am trouble. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Nordling. I kind of like this playing through without getting sidetracked. Should do it probably more often. Craftsmen, craftsmen can craft a variety of items for you for a small fee, of course. Blacksmiths forge weapons. Armors make armor. If you find a crafting dialogue, take it to a craftsman for the right type and skill level to have them craft the item. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk here, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we have a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick-skulled quartermasters. They got a place. 
Uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Show me where you're peddling. Hmm. What is my... S okay, got crafting, got shopping. Crafting, creating items. What's per... Okay, on the right side of the screen is detailed description of currently selected item. Okay. Center of the screen shows components needed to craft. Craftsmen need to eat too. To have them craft a item, you must pay them for their service. If you have enough coin, press A to craft the item. You can find a craftsman with the right specialty. Okay, dismantling. So you can break things down as well. Craft, quest items, food, potions. This item can't be sold, torch. Cool. Morel holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Mm. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? Nope. So long. He just ran into me and pushed me out of the way. What a jerk. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is took from us earlier and you will give 30 and that will do let us settle on it and i wish to see the transport soon oh thank you sir thank you kindly i summoned only the elderman and the smith willis but it is said he is a dwarf you are too tall to be him very perceptive of you Geralt of rivia witcher that girl this explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. I only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Uh-oh, it doesn't let me back out, so I have to ask this question. 
Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. All right. Tamira and Mislov. Thanks. Tamira and Mislov. If your current quest has more than one objective, you can choose which objective is tracked by pressing. Okay. Beast of the White Orchard. That's the hunter where he found the bodies. We don't need any of that. Fast travel. Once discovered, signposts allow you to travel directly from one location to another. Walk up to a signpost. Press A to fast travel. So where do we fast travel to? Fast travel destinations. Use the L to select a destination marked with a po on the map and press A. Pretty easy. Blacksmith, that's inside. Guarded, uh, guarded treasure. Can we... Cool, we can fast travel right there. I know there's guarded treasure and everything, and I would love to... Um, get sidetracked, but I'm not going to. We'll eat myrtle grass during the hungry gap. They've taken all our grain. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go fly or something. White Orchard. Is it taking me to the other one? A lot of NPCs around. I forgot about all that. Yeah, I remember her. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. His love just left home. You have your horse come to you? Double, okay. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. <clears throat> I'll show you, sure. But uh, 
I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them? Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. Have these dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die, because they're clever. More so than foxes. And they hate men something fierce. Picking up some flowers and herbs. We go fight some doggies. Too late. Attacked another one. Thank you, Archer. Can we do? Oh, we can loot them. Do I really want raw meat? Why not? Okay, we got all that. manor together where the black armies encamp now he was a stable hand i was the lord's hunter but that was before well a long time ago sorry hope you weren't close no not at all so can you show me where you found enough guardians griffin know anything about it uh, not much not my kind of game you're his kind though survival instincts alone ought to make you care i walk silent through the woods no griffin can hear me nor spy me okay follow the hunter that is what we do I was hoping you could like hold down something and just run with them. I keep running past them and running into them. Twas here. One lay there by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Thank you, Hunter. Elf guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. A camp.
Examine the site. Okay. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Cool hearing those dogs. There we go. When jumping over ledges, hold B during your leap. There we go. Can't grab that, huh? Oh, did those bees hurt me? No. Um, how did I die? <laughs> how did I, how did I die? I don't know how I died. What was killing me? The Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. are older and deeper heavily armored elf guardians probably i need to remember jump b worth female larvae and her wounds have already hatched been dead at least a week other griffin must be a male deep cut 
cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Royal. That explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Gained abilities. Okay, let's go here. Chapter.